Welcome to Call Toolbox. Today we're going to cover an attic stairway. We're going to take this stairway out and we're going to put a new one in. Okay, Mike's going to set the, the ladder up in place. I'm going to stabilize it while he hops up here. We recommend running a 3 inch screw on both the front and the hinge side of the frame. This will enable you to secure the attic stair and keep it from falling when the original screws or nails are removed. Use a pry bar if you have nails in place. Once this is done, you will remove all existing nails or screws in the frame. If you have a stubborn nail or screw, or if you don't feel like prying them out, go ahead and use a reciprocating saw with a bimetal blade. That'll do the trick. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and remove these bolts. You take these bolts out, we just take the whole bottom of the staircase off, and, and that's a lot of weight taken off of this. He's got the three inch screws holding that in, and we're just going to raise this back up. Now, this is a little messed up. I'm going to raise it up. He's going to unscrew those, and I'm going to catch it down below. Okay. All right, Michael, you get right. in the front or the back first? Okay, let me get in the center here. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm going to set it in this room. That way we'll right. move it after. Great. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brad. All right. That's all there is to taking it out. Okay, make sure you read the instructions for your particular staircase. But this one calls for a 3 8 inch overhang on the opening. So we're installing a 2x4 across the front, slightly wider than the width, and a 2x4 across the back. You could use a 1x if you want. We're using 3 inch all purpose screws and we're screwing it into the ceiling joist and the cross members. Mike's going to set the 12 inch square up there. You can use a, a frame and square, but this works. 12 inches shows it really well. And you can see this is perfectly square on the back side. That's where your hinge goes. That's the most important part. Make sure it's pushed all the way against the hinge side because that side you want tighter. And this is why you only want this board to go over three eighths of an inch because you don't want to be blocking this. I prefer to use all purpose screws when uh, doing something like this. These are coarse thread screws that are hardened and um, you don't have to worry about them stripping out or breaking when you're trying to get um, through hard wood. So, they come with screws and I like them, but these, these are actually better. Now, I will take and um, put some shims in here and line this up. We already put a square on here. I know this side was square. The whole frame is square. So I butted it up against the back and one side over there. So everything's um, nice and square. Then all I have to do is fill this in. So I'm going to take a couple of shims and you see right here, the corners are going to show me the real tight spots that I know are right. And my shim is only going to have to go that far in there. So I'm going to bring it over here and run a screw through this. These screws I can leave in or they could be temporary. It doesn't matter. I prefer to leave them in. It doesn't hurt to have an extra screw in there. That may not be exactly the way they want it done. Um, they have a good way of doing it, but these work. All right now, when I'm snugging up here, you see I have a little gap. That's where I want to shim. So I'm going to take my lag rope, run it in to where it just touches. I don't want to suck it up yet. Right when it's close. It doesn't even have to touch when it gets close. I can take some shims and slip in here and get it just tight. Once this is tight, I can snap these shims off. I like these shims here that are corrugated looking. They snap real easy. They, they're some of the best shims that I've used. Um, I'll look for them when I go to the store. Okay, now it's nice and nice and tight. So 
drag it up, and you'll see how easy they are to snap. They just pop. You can't get to this bottom hole, which is pre-drilled for legs. So you want to raise the ladder up a little bit to get to that. Okay, we're going to do that on both sides. And this will be done. If you're not sure where your lag bolts go, look at the pre-drilled holes. That's where the legs, because they're, they're bigger. Next thing you want to do is just fill in the gaps where you um, where you might have from the frame itself. You just stuff some insulation in there and you put your trim around here, your casing, and you're good. This is already set up for the angle, the angle that it's supposed to fit. But you just want to get the length, and all you have to do is get close because they give you plenty of room. So what I'm going to do is take a 2x4, or you take any kind of straight edge, set it on the top of this, mark your floor right, right where that 2x4 touches. Now we're going to get this measurement from here to here. We have 16 and a half inches. So we're going to take this 16 and a half inches right here and knock three inches off of it. And we're going to take it right here. So we're going to bring this from here to here, 13 and a half inches, and cut it. If you don't have a reciprocating saw, you can easily cut this with a hacksaw. I just want to clarify this. From the joint to the floor was 16 and a half inches. So what I did was I measured from the joint down 13 and a half inches and I cut it. Now that leaves me with a three inch gap. You can leave as much as a six inch gap because the filler plate that covers it is 12 inches long. We have a couple of inches to spare so we can slide this up and down. I like to have it longer here. That just gives me more for this to grab. So you slip it on. You slide it down to where it touches, and that's where you want it to be. I'm going to go three down here, and I'm, I'm off of this rung. I know I'm not hitting it. Just one. Once you have your bolts in there, you, you snug it up. It has a lock washer on there, so it's going to bite. I'm going to use my torque gun. That's it. This thing's solid. Well, there you have it. You see how easy this thing goes up with these shocks? It just pulls it up like a cushion. Also, you have real thick door with insulation in it. Now this is the hollow core door part, this part right here, but it has insulation on the inside of it. And you have weather stripping all the way around the top. So when this thing closes, it seals and everything is nice and flat. That's it for now. But before you go, check out this 10 second video for me. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be on a new TV show. Well, actually it's new for me, but it's a five time Emmy award winning show called The American Builder. We're filming all types of different projects. A lot of fun. You're going to see shows before they even air on TV if you follow the YouTube channel. On top of that, we'll have giveaways and you'll see behind the scenes stuff that goes on. A lot of crazy stuff. A lot of fun. I'll see you guys later. Uh, where's your torch? You want to know it's marble? She just said. <laughs> hey, I, I love how this came out. Let me just fix let it. Just, let me just. I think we got it, Paul, well, we said 45 minutes. We've been doing this for over an hour and 20 oh, yeah. minutes and it's still moving around. That's